My commitment and obsession is always to be better today than I was yesterday. If I have to make sacrifices to do that, so be it. If I have to tell that person I can't go out drinking with him anymore, so be it. Because that's not what I value. Anything or anyone that is taking me further away from my dreams has to go. I'm committed to self-development, not self-destruction. And you know, any person that is meant to be with me on the journey will choose that higher road with me. Yes, a tougher road, but it's a much more rewarding one. I want my life to mean something, to be able to look back at my life and say, yeah, I made some tough decisions, but they were the right decisions. So many people don't get it. They piss their life away every weekend for what? So they can complain about their current circumstances for the rest of the week? Screw that! No chance! I'm in charge of my own life! It's all on me. I take responsibility, I take action, and I get shit done! You will never hear me complain about another person or circumstance as the reason I'm not where I want to be. If I don't like where I am, time to knuckle down and work harder. I am a perfect reflection of the hard work or lack of work I put in. And luck? That only comes to those who have paid their dues. If I am weak in a certain area, it won't be for long because I'm committed to be better. I will learn. I will read. I will make it happen. I will find a way. I will work until that weakness is turned into a strength. No one can beat me because I don't give up. I'm relentless. You might knock me down, but I never stay down. It's time to rise. Rise up to your potential. Rise up past your limitations. Rise up past your family or friends' limitations. Set the standard for those around you. Don't conform to the standard like a sheep. Get out and lead the way. Get up. Rise up. Man up. Your comfort zone is your enemy. One of the biggest ironies I can think of is when you live life trying to stay comfortable, life will send you more and more discomfort. It's true, life will send you more and more problems, life will keep throwing rocks at you, life will keep handing you resistance, struggles, issues. And because people are so concerned about staying comfortable instead of growing and reaching higher, because people don't want to address their limitations and move beyond them, they keep struggling. Listen, you are not here on this planet to sip apple martinis on the beach and get yourself a tan. You are here to grow. And if you won't make yourself uncomfortable, life will give you plenty of reasons to push you out your comfort zone. So you have one of two options. Either you commit to constant growth and feeling discomfort upon your own accord, and you become the master of your own destiny, or you hand over the keys and you let life happen to you by default. One path leads to success and the other path leads you to constant struggle and pain. It's your choice. You think Steve Jobs started Apple feeling comfortable about it? You think top athletes sleep their way to high performance? You think Oscar winning actors procrastinate their way to achievement? No! So then why are you giving into wasting time with Netflix marathons, into chronic procrastination? Why are you running to the bar the moment your best friend texts you to come out? You have got to be willing to make the hard decision. You've got to be willing to feel uncomfortable, to feel awkward, to face rejection, to fail, to feel pressure. You've got to be willing to face those things because that's what's necessary for you to grow. How many times have you looked at your life and said, man, if only I knew then what I know now, I live my life so differently, so is it not possible then that the life you are living now, you would be living differently if you began to develop an awareness that you do not currently have? 
Well, guess what? The only way for you to develop knowledge and awareness is to try things you have not yet tried, to do things you have not yet done, to create things you have not yet created, to go to places you have not yet explored. This is how you grow. That is how you become the person who is worthy of sitting on the beach with their favorite drink. Life rewards you with those experiences after you do the work. There is a real price to success and life collects the payments. And let me tell you something, life does not accept payment plans. Life does not let you get away with experiencing things that you have not yet earned. Your sacrifice must be paid up front and in full. And that is the only way you are going to achieve the life that you want. So I strongly suggest that you begin to pay with your discomfort. I strongly suggest that you start making those calls, that you start approaching that person, that you start practicing kindness and compassion over jealousy and greed, that you confront your anxiety, that you hit the gym, that you study harder, that you jump higher, that you begin waking up early, even if you're not a morning person, that you destroy your procrastination, that you start doing the things that you know within your heart that you should have started doing a long time ago, so you can start to build the experiences and the knowledge that you need to succeed that is what I suggest to you and don't listen to this as a voice on a video over some music listen to this as a direct sign a direct message that life is giving to you to wake you up to help you acknowledge your own greatness it's time it's time for you to get uncomfortable it's time for you to start dreaming again and start going after what was always yours but what you've ignored for far too long and I promise, when you push yourself into discomfort, your friends will take notice. Your colleagues will take notice. Your family will take notice. Life will take notice. And life will begin to back you up. Life will begin to support you and open doors for you and introduce you to the people who will take you to the next level. But you have got to take the first step. So take it, take it and watch your life explode into greatness, watch new levels of the game unfold for you, watch you develop into the person who you have always wanted to become. It's all waiting for you outside of your comfort zone. Go for it. made it. Not because of A, B, or C. I made it because of me. I made it not because I had no obstacles. Not because I suffered no setbacks. Not because everything went right. I made it despite the obstacles. Despite the huge challenges. I made it because I got fight. I made it. Not because I stepped on others to get there. I made it because I helped others. Because I know the truth that lies in the statement. Help enough people, get what they want, and the world will give you what you want. Add value, get rewarded. I made it! Because the fires inside of me were stronger than the storms outside of me. I made it. Because my appetite to learn and grow every day. I'm not content with okay living. I'm not content with expectations of others. I've got my own expectations. I've got my own standards. I'm not okay with average. I'll leave that crap for someone else. I expect more out of life. I deserve more and I will get more. I made it because I made no excuses. If something goes wrong, it's all on me. All on me to find a solution. All on me to find a way to win, regardless of the circumstances. I made it. You didn't. You made excuses. I didn't. I grew. You didn't! I sacrificed! You didn't! You made excuses! I didn't! I didn't quit because you said I couldn't make it. I made it because you said I couldn't. I used your negativity as fuel. I made it despite you. I didn't get lucky. I made my own luck. Only the successful will understand that. The weak believe in luck. The successful believe in whatever it effing takes. I didn't make it because I had the magic pill. I made it because I was willing to kill. Because I got real. Real with myself. Real with responsibility. Real with belief. Real with work. Hard work. Not talking, but doing. Not lip service, 
but real purpose. Hard working, always working, never resting, never settling, never stopping. There's not one reason, there's many. I can tell you the secret is simply called hard work. I made it, you didn't. You made excuses, I didn't. I grew, you didn't. I sacrificed, you didn't. You made excuses, I didn't. It's not easy going it alone, but if you keep going, stay true to yourself, it will be worth it in the end. The hardest walk you can make is the walk you make alone, but that is the walk that makes you the strongest. That is the walk that builds your character the most. To all of you fighting battles alone, to all of you going against the grain, battling the naysayers, stay strong, keep going. Stay strong, keep going. This walk is hard, but the hardest walks lead to the greatest destinations. The toughest climbs always lead to the best views. It will be worth it in the end. And if you show what you are made of, the right people will show up in your life. You won't be a lone wolf forever. You have qualities only few can admire because most don't possess. You have strength only few can understand because most have never experienced. So don't give in. Don't settle. Don't lower your expectations to fit into the world. You were born to stand out. You were born to lead. Lead the pack. They say the wolf on the hill is never as hungry as the wolf climbing the hill. Always be that wolf climbing the hill. Always hungry for more. Always hungry to grow, to feed your mind and rise to the highest level you can take yourself. Never looking back, always looking forward to the next feast, feast of success in whatever you do. It does not matter if you have to walk alone for a while. It is much better to walk alone in the right direction than to follow the herd walking in the wrong direction. Stay strong. Be different. Your destiny is in your hands. Get out there and hunt it.